All right, CAD fans, in this video we're going to draw a sheet layout and title block we'll use on all our drawings. I've already done the limits and units commands to work in engineering. And we're starting a rectangle here. I'll start it at 0, 0, and then the other corner is going to be at 10 inches across and 7 and a half inches high. And so that will give me my sheet of paper. We'll zoom extents and there it is. Go back just a little bit so I can hit it here. I just rolled the mouse button back. And then we're going to want to draw a line along the, the right hand edge two inches from the right hand edge. So let's do from base point. I'll zoom in. Left click right there. And I'm going to move over two inches. Use the at symbol to make sure it's relative minus 2 comma 0 enter that starts the line and then uh, I'll zoom out again pan it by holding the middle mouse button move down to the bottom and then should be right about there left click and there it is that's where my 0.05 thing comes in handy which I didn't mention yet but here it is right click settings on the grid and let's turn this snap on and make it 0.05 inches. That way my cursor will only go to the nearest half an inch, you know, 0.05 inches. That'll make it a little bit easier to uh, snap into the right orientation and not get too fussy about the, the uh, geometry of this. Let's do another from. We'll start at this base point here and then I want to go up I'll go offset zero up three quarters of an inch so 0 0.75 and left click and then go right across and this is going to be a little bit hard more difficult to hit but see that green thing that popped up the snap that seems to be working pretty well isn't it enter to get out of that and then let's use copy to start making copies of this. Select objects. Yep. Base point is going to be the mid point of that line. I'm going to go up half an inch. So I can either just move the mouse up and hit half an inch, or I could type in 0, comma, 0 0.5. Hit enter left click and there it is and I could keep going like that so now I want I'll be an inch above the original line I'll do several of these half inch ones right on up because so that'll give me let's see I need one two three four boxes I think so let's do one more left click and then hit enter I'm done with that Looks like I've got one extraneous line in there. I'll erase that. I must have clicked on something funny. Enter. Huh. That first one was supposed to be up three quarters of an inch, but it doesn't really look much different than the others, does it? Let's uh, let's use this measure tool to check it out. Left click. Left click. 0.55. I must have mistyped. Oh well. So let's move all these up then. Here's the move tool, select objects. I'm going to go from right to left, and that selects everything I cross. I hit enter because that's the end of my selection. Base point is right there. I'm going to move up. I'm just going to type in 0, comma, 0 0.2, right, to go up to 0.75. Hit enter, and that moves them all up. Now let's use the copy tool. And I'm going to make one more box here. We're going to copy that line from that point. I'm going to go up an inch and a half, so 0, comma, 1.5. Did I type it right this time? Yep, looks like it. Hit enter. And I think that'll give us a pretty good layout here. Zoom. Extents. So that's good so far. All right. 
Now we're going to do some text work and put in some labels. And that's going to require what AutoCAD calls annotation. So I just switched groups to the annotation tool. And I'm going to look at the styles, manage text styles. And I'm going to make a new one and call it 0 .050. Or just going to type 050. You'll see how this works in a minute. I'll make it annotative. And I'm going to make the height of it 050. Yeah, 050, just like I thought. Apply. Close. That style is then active. And I'm going to switch to just single line text. Should be fine. Since we're doing annotative, we're, which has to do with scaling in relation to the paper, we'll pick 1 to 1, which changes down here annotation thing. In any case, let's do a single line text then and where I want to put this is right down in here. We're going to label all these little spots. So we'll zoom in a little bit and this is where that .05 clicking comes in nicely. We're using this style and I'm going to make it uh, justify. Just type in justify and I'm going to use uh, top left. So that's where the top left point of text is going to be. I'll left click right there. Rotation 0. And we're going to call this the drawing number, right? Put my caps lock on. Drawing number. So that's going to be that label. I hit enter. It goes down one line. I hit enter one more time and that finishes putting that piece of text in. We can do it again. Hit the space bar. And instead of just instead of typing justify, I'll just type T L, and that justifies me top left. I go to the same thing right there. Hit enter on zero, and that's going to be scale. Enter a couple of times. We do it again. Top left. I have to keep putting in the right, you know, the justification stuff. Scale. We've got date. I'm going to move up a little bit, hold the middle mouse button and pan it down. Space bar to do another one. TL. Just getting boring yet. Left click. Uh, lab section. Oops, that should have been enter for zero. Lab section. And the next one up is going to be drawn by. That'll be your name. TL. Right there, zero, drawn by. We'll move up a little more. This box in our title block is going to be, hit the space bar to start it again. TL, uh, the drawing title. Drawing title. And that should do it. So if we zoom back out, we have drawing title. If you zoom out too far, they turn into blocks. So if you can't see it, you may have to zoom back in. Drawing title drawn by lab section date scale and drawing number. Very good. Now let's do another style, text style, on uh, at eighth inch high. So we'll make I'll call that 125. And put that in here. Notice I'm using Arial as a font. You can use whatever you want, pretty much. If you have to pick it, go ahead right there. Apply, close. And then let's use the single line text tool again. And we'll start with drawn by. And the first thing I'll do is, is MC for middle center. I could have typed justify and done it that way too. And then we'll start from that midpoint, drag down a little bit, 0.25 inches, and left click. Zero rotation, and I put my name in there, right, right there. Enter twice to get out of it. I can go ahead and do the same thing for lab section, date, and so forth. Or you could use a copy. There's another scheme to do this. Let's say we just copied that text bit. Hit enter. Base point, use the center of the line above it. And then we can just move down and left click our way through that. And then, obviously, you don't want my name in each one of those. So if you select the object and then double-click it, 
It should edit. It's not behaving, so I'll hit escape. There we go. I got to double click. My lab section is going to be Tuesday, 1 to 3. You can use whatever you have, date, so on and so forth. You get the idea. I'll go in and fill this in while you practice, and I'll be back in a minute. Yes, sir. Drop a lookout mountain. 10,700 feet. Rocky Mountain National Park, Colorado. Starting to snow. Beautiful day in June. I'm just finishing up the titles here. Notice I can type on more than one line of Maine. But if you hit enter twice, then that gets out of it. So I got the company name, I've got the drawing title, I got my name, lab section date. At this point I'll just put scale one inch equals one inch. I can edit that later when I need to. And we'll do one more style. And we'll make this one 0.25. I should hit new first. So we'll call this 250. And just hit that. Okay, and then we'll put the drawing number right in there in that size. So if you're if you're not able to use this little uh, snap group thing, you will want to make sure that this little one is on down here. Where is it? Object snap tracking. It's this little angle, and maybe snaps too would help. Those two buttons. And so we'll go to there. We want to do MC. Drag down a little bit. That looks pretty good. It's probably not exactly centered, but that'll be close enough. Click, and we'll call this S101. And there you have it.